Hey guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you more one and done eyeshadows that I really, really love. I did this video like a year ago, more than a year ago, where I talked about a lot of my favorite one and done eyeshadows. That has not changed. I still love many of those and I didn't want to create a video where I was repeating myself too much. So I will link to that video down below. Uh, but in that video, I talk about like Victoria Beckham's Lid Luster, the Sicily Bake Chalet single shadows, some of my like favorite Chantecaille mermaid shadows. So if I don't mention uh, a lot of products that you would expect me to talk about, they're probably in that video. So anyway, let's go ahead and and jump into uh, like my new sort of additions to this list. I have a lot of like actual single shadows and some crayons in here. And then I do have a few shadows that I love to use on their own that are actually part of a palette. So let's go ahead and start with the singles. And I'm gonna start with pencils because in that video that I did like a year ago, I kind of threw out there, I was like, oh, you know, maybe I should do a video just on uh, pencils that I really enjoy. And there just wasn't enough. I, you know, I use like, again, like some of my absolute favorites. So I didn't make an entire video just on that. So I'm gonna be talking about them today. The first one is, uh, Bobbi Brown. I love, love, love these long wear cream shadows. And they just came out with a whole bunch of new shades, two of which are limited edition. I did a video maybe last week or the week before kind of talking about these new shades, new formula, which I'm enjoying even more than the old formula, which I loved. Um, they're just, it's softer, they're more blendable, and they actually last longer. So yeah, it's really magical. Anyway, the new shades that they came out with are all shimmery, which I really love. There's probably not any, I'm just looking really quickly at what I pulled out, but there aren't any like matte shadows. Oh, maybe one, uh, but not very many matte shadows that I enjoy just as a one and done. I feel like I like mattes as uh, kind of a building block, but I always love a little bit of shimmer on my eyelids. So I just pulled out a few that I know I've been wearing quite a bit. Uh, one is Moonstone, and this is just a really beautiful, uh, like bright shade if you just want like a real kind of flashy, foily look to your lid. Uh, this is really great. This is also really, really great for like inner corner highlight, which I will do right now. Now, I'm not gonna be able to like eye swatch all of these shadows. Maybe I'll throw on a few here and there, but I will swatch them on my hand for you. I just, eye swatching, like my eyes get irritated so, so quickly and I just, I can't handle that. Like my allergies are bothering me, so I apologize. But I will be swatching them for you and I will eye swatch what I can. But here is Moonstone in the inner corner. Isn't that so pretty? So I love that and I love that it's in pencil form. I feel like it makes for adding to the inner corner really, really easy. Um, and then another one that I've been really, really enjoying, oh, it's Smoky Topaz, yes. This is a bit deeper but so, so gorgeous on the lid. See how there's like depth there, but then as soon as you get the light on there, it really brightens up. So as a one and done, I feel like it gives you dimension all by itself in this one shade because it has that metallic sheen. And like, you know, depending on where you are, depending on where the light is, it's, yeah, it really looks much more complex than it is. Like you just throw this on, blend it out, and you're done. I mean, so, so simple. And then another new shade that they came out with is Forest. And you guys know how much I love a green khaki olive kind of eyeshadow. And this one is like very deep. Um, it's almost like a, like a bronze antique gold kind of shade. And it's, it's really, really beautiful. This is um, probably a shade, like if I'm gonna use this as a one and done, I use it just really, really close to the lash line and then I just kind of use my finger and blend it up and out and that's it. It just makes for um, like a really kind of clean look, but it's not super heavy even though this is a dark shade. So anyway, those are the three that I pulled out from Bobbi Brown, but I love this formula. Um, if there's any of the shades that kind of speak to you, I would highly, highly recommend them because yeah, what they did with the formula is really incredible. So those are the Bobbi Brown Longwear Cream Shadow Sticks. I also wanted to mention some of the Laura Mercier ones. I have just as good luck with these Laura Mercier's. They're really, really beautiful. Um, I happen to like the, sh the Bobbi Brown shades a little bit more. So I pulled out these two. These are the two that I feel like um, 
I use like if I'm going for the Laura Mercier, if that makes sense. So the first one is Intense Moonlight. And this one, I'm gonna swatch actually right next to the Moonstone. So this is if I just want something a little bit, can you see a little bit taupier? You guys know how much I love a taupe. So this one is really, see how shiny it is? Just like the Moonstone, but it's just a little bit deeper. Um, so this is great as a one and done. And then this one is Cobblestone. So this I think is the only, well, maybe one of the matte shades I'm gonna be talking about. And this is a really beautiful matte shade. It looks very dark. It's like as dark as the forest, but it's there's no green in there. It's a brown. But when you blend it out, yeah, it's really, really something else. I really, really like this. It's on the cooler side. It's just a really beautiful, uh, like deep kind of taupe shade. So again, that is Cobblestone. And of course I'll link and list everything down below in my description box so you have uh, easy reference to that. Um, so those are the two Laura Mercier shadow sticks that I wanted to mention. What are What does she call these actually? A caviar sticks, that's right, the caviar sticks. So those are the two I wanted to mention. Those kind of stood out to me. And then um, I actually have not used these in a while but I did use it today and I kind of forgot about these but when I was digging around in my collection, I remembered how much I, I still love them, um, but how much I loved them when I first got them. I think they may be getting rid of these, but these are the Chanel Stilo Ombre et Contours. And if you guys have been with me for a while, you guys know how much I love these. So I pulled out Electric Brown. So that's what I have basically lining my eyes. Um, but these also make for a really great uh, one and done shadow because they are not quite as chubby as the long wear sticks or the caviar sticks, but they are a lot chubbier than a typical eyeliner. But I just think that they go on really beautifully and they are super long wear. They do set down. So if you wanna blend them out, you should blend them out fairly quickly, you know, one eye at a time. But look at that, isn't that so pretty? So this one is electric brown. So it's a brown with a little bit of like metallic in there. And then this one is Nude Eclat, and this also has a little bit of shimmer. It's actually kind of similar to the Moonstone, but it has a pinky base, like a pinky peachy base to it. Isn't that so pretty? And then it has like this gold like sheen. Oh, it's gorgeous. I love this all on its own. I have to remember actually to pull this out. So um, those are the Chanel Stilo Ombre et Contours and those are the two shades that really uh, stick out to me. Um, so those are all of the like cream shadow sticks that I had and I do want to talk about what I have on my eyes and this product actually is what prompted me to do this uh, video again. So Sisley just came out with these uh, Fito Ombre liquid um, eyeshadow. So these are liquid eyeshadows and there are six shades and I did use and like swatch all of these in a different video. Let me try and hold up what I can. Um, actually, let me hold up one, two, three. I'll do three at a time. So look at these beautiful shades. All of these shades I absolutely love and I feel like I can use as a one and done shade. Today what I have, so this is one, two, and three. Today I have two all over my lid. And it's just this really beautiful, subtle, like slight sheen that it gives your lids. It's nothing too dramatic. These are so, so easy to use. Just everything about these are easy. The shades, um, it's a doe foot applicator. So you just, just swipe it onto your lid. You can use a brush, you can use your finger. It just blends out beautifully and then it stays put. They're just really, really awesome. So I like putting them on one eye at a time. Let me finish showing you these shades. Sorry, I got carried away. Here is four, five, and six. And I, I just really, really love all of these shades as one and done shades. Even these two that look a little bit deep in the tube here, they just, you know, as soon as you start blending them out, you just have this like really kind of like subtle shimmer effect with this as like an undertone. It, they're just really, really beautiful. Um, I love two and five. These are the most kind of like browny, brown toned. And then um, three has a slight kind of pinkiness to it. And number four is kind of like a copper, coppery beige. So let me show you actually number five. I'm gonna swatch this one 
because this is kind of like a deep brown and could seem kind of intimidating in terms of using it as a one and done, like all over your lid. But here it is right here. And let me just show you, like once you blend it out, how beautiful that is. It just looks almost like powdery the way it blends out like that. Liquid shadows, you know, are really touch and go for me. <laughs> a lot of them don't work for me. Like the Chanel ones just don't really work for me. And a lot of them are like that where they become kind of patchy or it feels like parts of them set down. And then some parts you feel like you're lifting up with your finger or your brush or some, sometimes they just act a little strange. These, I mean, are, are absolutely beautiful. I never ever get any sort of patchiness or lifting or kind of separating. They play really well together if you feel like doing maybe like a two and done <laughs> eyeshadow look. Um, the deeper colors obviously you know, work great as like uh, dimension builders and things like that. So yeah, I just really, really love this product. Just everything about it. The packaging, the shade selection, the formula, just everything. I just think they're gorgeous. So those are the uh, Sicily Fito Ombre, I think that's the name, Fito Ombre Liquid. Ombre Eclat Liquid, sorry. I've been saying the wrong thing. Anyway, it's all listed down below in the description box. All right, so let's talk about some potted cream shadows. Now, I think since I made that video, the one and done eyeshadow video last year, I discovered Trini London. Trini London, most of their products are in these little jars, these little pots, which I love. Um, their base products are like in pump squeezy tubes or whatever, but a lot of their like blush and eyeshadows and concealers, things like that, they all come in these little pots, which I, I just, I absolutely love. So um, there's two that I pulled out. So she has um, a product called Eye to Eye. There's a ton of shades and I love this mystery shade for a one and done. So this has like a slight taupiness to it. It's probably a little bit warmer than a straight up taupe, but look at how gorgeous that is. It's so beautiful. Look at that sheen. It's so subtle. And this is one of those really fun here. Can you see how deep it gets? This is one of those fun shades. When you put it all over your lid, you're able to convey dimension without actually adding like all of these different shades in there. And I think it's because of how it kind of changes in the light. It's really beautiful. And there's just a hint, I don't know if it's coming across, there's just a hint of warmth, like a little bit of peachiness. Let me blend it out a little bit more actually. A little bit of like peachiness in there. It's really, really pretty. So that is the Trini London Eye to Eye in the shade Mystery. And then the other shade I had to show you, it's called Chariot. And wait till you guys see this color. This is obviously not a shade that I wear all the time, but if I do wanna do a one and done for the evening, this guy is really beautiful. Here, let me show you Chariot in the pot. Do you see that golden shimmer? Oof. And let me just pick up a little bit here. So that is just a little bit, which is all you need, but it does blend out really beautifully. So let me just blend that out. So you can get like a subtle, soft, smoky kind of look. But do you see that like really interesting, like olive base with gold shimmer? It is so, so beautiful. So that is Chariot. And that was one I definitely had to show you guys from Trini London. Again, the um, actual product name is Eye to Eye. Super cute. Okay, more potted shadows. Charlotte Tilbury, the eyes to mesmerize. There's something, I don't know, I think something in me maybe changed. I really liked the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize, the Tom Ford uh, single cream shadows, but because they were so uh, kind of like loose and creamy and moussey, I don't know, I just kind of found them a little bit difficult to use. I felt like I was always kind of picking up too much and then I was like kind of creating a mess on my eyelids. And so it was only for those times where I had time to do my makeup, where, you know, I was okay just like really being careful with my makeup, but there's something about, maybe it's these shades in the Charlotte Tilbury as Eyes to Mesmerize that I have really fallen in love with, or maybe I've just gotten better at doing my makeup, or now that I've learned how to use them, I've like made my peace with them in a way. Um, but I think it's maybe a little bit of all of those reasons. So I recently have fallen in love with uh, Oyster Pearl. 
And again, you have to use like just the tiniest bit because this product is so soft, you have to be careful. Like you can't just ram your brush in here. Um, but this Oyster Pearl is incredible. Look at that sheen. And then the other one I really love is Champagne. And this one is much lighter. And it's sort of like um, the Bobbi Brown Moonlight in that you'll just get this really beautiful like frost over your entire lid. And I think that can be very, very beautiful as well. So that's Oyster Pearl and that is Champagne. And I've just been loving these. I don't know, it's so strange. It was like a rediscovery of this product that I thought, you know, I was okay with not absolutely loving, but now I, absolutely love these. And I th think this is the product that some people have asked me whether or not it creases on my lids. I have, you know, kind of flat Asian eyelids. I just don't have that many creases in my lid physically. Um, but I also have very, very dry eyelids. I have very dry skin. It is no different on my eyelids. And I think creasing happens a lot more if you have like oilier lids. So I generally don't have creasing issues like as a whole, um, that's just not something I am concerned with. But I know some people are. I can't really tell you, these don't crease on my lids is all I can say. But if you have oilier eyelids, I don't know, you may have an issue with creasing. I have not, I have not experienced uh, creasing issues with these. Okay, the last uh, potted eyeshadow I wanted to mention are these Jones Road Just A Sec eyeshadows. I have um, three shades. I wanna say, is this one my favorite? Maybe, maybe this one's my favorite. This one is, Pewter, and this is really, really gorgeous. In fact, I think I can layer this on top of my Sisley shadows um, because it's so light. So I just like to use my finger. My fourth finger fits perfectly into this pot. This pot is a little bit on the smaller side. It's smaller than the um, Charlotte Tilbury, you can see. So I can't put my first finger or middle finger in here comfortably, but I can fit my fourth finger in here. Let me just layer this on top. Oh, so gorgeous. And the texture of these are interesting. They're like like a soft kind of a putty, but they're not, not nearly as soft as the Charlotte Tilbury, um, not as dense as the Westman Atelier or the Chanel um, Ombre Premiers. They're kind of like in between those two. Stunning. If you're looking for like, kind of like a cool toned, um, taupe or like a warm gray, this is perfect. There's just a little bit of shimmer, a little bit of micro glitter and so easy to use. Love them. So that one is pewter. This one is topaz. So this is on the slightly, slightly warm side. There's like a little bit of a peachy tinge to it. Let me do a swatch. There is topaz. And there's almost like a wet looking quality to these. They're, yeah, they're just really, really a lot of fun. And then this one is Golden Peach. This one is a little bit lighter than Topaz, although I think Topaz is peachier. So there is Golden Peach and there's Topaz. So big fan of those Just A Sec eyeshadows. And then I do really enjoy the Jones Road Best Eyeshadow also. These are her single um, like pressed shadows. And this is in the shade Patina. Whew, this is such a good one. This is, it's almost like the pressed powder version of Pewter. Uh, because it's a powder, it's a little bit you know deeper. It's a little bit more dramatic, but it does blend out beautifully. Let me blend that out. Yeah, it just blends out beautifully. It's almost like it transitions itself. Just gorgeous. So that is uh, the best eyeshadow in Patina. I have not tried any other shades, um, but in this shade, I really like the formula. It's very, very straightforward and very easy to use. Um, so that is the best eyeshadow from Jones Road. I almost said Bobbi Brown. It's from Jones Road. <laughs> now, this is kind of an update from last year. So since uh, the first time I did this video, um, this whole line was redone. And I'm talking about the Chanel Mono Color Couture um, shadows. And I'm holding up shade number 658 Beige Mitza which is pretty much a dupe 
I think it's a dupe. I think some people have found a little bit of a difference to it. To my eye, I feel like it looks pretty much the same as their Cosmopolite single shadow, which was in my one and done eyeshadow video from last year. But I just wanted to update you with this version of that shadow, basically. And let me do a swatch. It is, oh, it is so stunning. It is so, so stunning. Oh, it's so gorgeous. There's like, it's a little bit of pink, a little bit of peach, a little bit of silver, a little bit of taupe. Like it's, it's so interesting and it's so, so gorgeous. And it's not like, it doesn't come off like a multi-chrome shadow. I just feel like it's all of those things all at once. It's everything everywhere all at once. <laughs> it is gorgeous. Um, I'm actually gonna apply this because I haven't actually worn this in a while and I miss it. Um, but I'm gonna apply this to this eye just so you can see. And again, I'm just laying it on top of that Sisley liquid shadow in number two. It's fairly light and I feel like this is pretty much gonna kind of cover it all. So I'm just using my finger. So gorgeous. And again, another one of those shadows that I feel like has built in dimension. It's just like automatically in there. I think I got some up here. <laughs> but there is Beige Mitza number 658 from Dior. Love it. Okay, let's move on to some one and done shadows that I love that are inside palettes. So they're not actual single shadows. They're part of a palette. And these are definitely new since last year. So um, Tom Ford came out with these quads that have a cream uh, formula in there. And this is Smoky Quartz, which I really love. And this shade, you know, <laughs> actually, I wanna say all three of these shades are great one and done shadows. Just sort of depends on like what mood I'm in. So let me just swatch all of these. And I love this formula. I just think, yeah, I think they just perform well and they're gorgeous. So these are like matte shadows, but because they're a cream formula, they have a little bit of a kind of creamy, creamy sheen to them. But look at those shades, right? It really just sort of depends on like what mood you're in, what the rest of your makeup looks like. They blend like a dream. Yeah, they just blend out beautifully. I just find these shadows so, so easy to use. So I wanted to point these out because I do go into this uh, palette quite a bit. Just, yeah, just to throw on one shade. And then I do also love Rose Topaz. This one is a little bit uh, lighter, except for the shade, but these are all lighter. But I come in for this shade a lot. You can see it's, I really dug in there. Uh, let me swatch that one shade. Here is that one shade. It's almost like that beige Mitza, but light. It's a little bit less dense and pigmented than this Dior one. It's also a little bit uh, wetter and brighter looking. But yeah, it's really, really gorgeous. I love how wet it looks. So yeah, when I'm just looking for, instead of like a, like a pigment necessarily, when I'm looking for like a finish to my eyelid, this is definitely one that comes to mind. So that's from the Rose Topaz quad. And then from the Viseart Kashmiri Etendu palette, this is uh, kind of like the Smoky Topaz. There's quite a few in here that I would say are great one and done shadows. Um, but there is one in particular that I like to come in here for. So this one, I really, really enjoy. But like all of these, even this one, but all of these kind of like, I guess on the lighter side, I was gonna say mid-tone, but I guess on the lighter side, kind of like taupes, this one leans a little peach. This one is probably the coolest in tone. These are probably the most neutral. I just think they're gorgeous. And Viseart shadows are really highly pigmented. So you don't need a lot. And here is that shade on the bottom that I really love. So this is, yeah, it's very um, brown and warm and like chocolatey in its undertone versus something like this Dior, which has like the peaches and the taupes. Yeah, this one's like a little bit more straightforward, but isn't that beautiful? Let me just swatch. This one is a little bit lighter. So this is a great one too, if you're looking for something light, but this will like blend out if you just keep running your brush over your eye, like Viseart shadows just blend like a dream. 
So this will just blend out really beautifully as you go up your lid. Just gorgeous. So those are all of my uh, one and done shadows that I wanted to share with you today. I feel like this could be an endless list, but I just wanted to kind of share with you some newer loves of mine. And yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. So let me know what some of your favorite one and done shadows are down below in the comment section. Uh, don't forget to check the description box on all the products I talked about, what's on my face, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.